We don't have the answers. Who did it? Why they would do it? And what happened? Obviously transitioning away from weather now. An unsolved homicide case from last year continues to frustrate a Springfield family. 42-year-old Tim Williamson was killed on Lone Pine Avenue in November, but investigators still haven't found who's responsible. Color 10's Ashley Eddy is live after talking to Williamson's family today. Yes, I spoke to his mom. She tells me she thought the family would know something by now, but they're still left in the dark. He loved motorcycles. Um, he raced a motorcycle whenever he was a kid. Tina Williamson says she's a proud mom to Tim, or as she likes to call him, Timmy. She says her world changed forever last fall when she got a call from her daughter. And she said, um, you need to get here now, mom, because something's happened to Timmy and he's dead. Springfield police found Tim Williamson dead at his home in November. What started as a well-being check quickly turned into a homicide investigation. That's an established neighborhood. He's lived there for over 20 years, and people know him. Tina says the situation still to this day just doesn't add up. He's gone, and he's never coming back, and we have no answers as to why someone would do this to him. Police tell Color 10 this case is still under investigation, and they're not providing updates at this time. Tina says this happened around Halloween and a lot of people were out and about. Maybe someone saw something and they didn't feel like it was anything, but it could be something, anything at all, any information that anyone might think that they might have that might help the investigation. We would appreciate it very, very much if they would just reach out and come forward. Tim leaves behind two children. When I see what this is doing to his kids, his sister, his brother, other family members, friends. There's nothing easy about any of this. Tina says answers are needed to help the family come to terms with what happened. We just have to have faith that it will be solved. They will solve this. This is one of three homicide cases that have not been solved here in the city from last year. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Reporting in Springfield, Ashley Eddy, Ozarks First.